Number seven, to be taught and shown physical skills. You know, there's approximately 3 million youth sports coaches out there. Less than 20% of these coaches have any training whatsoever, all, whatsoever at all to be a coach. 85% of all coaches are the parent of one of the players. In other words, do not assume they're getting good skill instruction. It's up to you to make sure this is happening. Take a keen interest in what your child is learning by asking them about their latest skill. Really be present in these conversations. Ask open-ended questions and keep it going. When some kids get the personal instruction and others don't, it creates a formula for destroying confidence. Number eight, you need to get mental skills explained and modeled to them. Now my definition of mental toughness is when you are focused, confident, determined, and resilient, especially under pressure. And I have an eight-step program in our Mental Toughness Academy to help your child develop these mental skills. But it's your job, though, to model them. For example, if you want your child to learn sportsmanship, you better be a great sports parent from the stands. You can model this by clapping at appropriate times for other competitors and, and keeping quiet when there's bad officials' calls. If you want your kid to be calm under pressure, you better be showing him how to do that at your home. Modeling, this is the most powerful way that kids learn anything. Nine, advocate for them. Back them up, support them. You know, most youth sports programs are well run. Most coaches are well intentioned. Unfortunately, sometimes things fall apart and, and it's the parent's job to step in or, or pull the plug when the young athlete's sports participation is tilting toward the negative. Always remember when approaching the coach, to present your concerns with the utmost respect for another human being his, who is doing their best. I want to tell you about a fabulous technique that I've taught a lot of parents in confronting a coach or, or a director, and I call it the feedback sandwich. Now, this means you start out the conversation with praise, followed by your concern, and then you finish it up with more praise. All right, this works like magic. Here's how it would go. Hi, coach. I just want to tell you how much I appreciate all your efforts and the time you put in for this team. I'm very grateful for all you do for these kids. And I wonder if I might just uh, ask you a little bit about Johnny's playing time and what you think he needs to do in order to get more time on the field. Oh, and by the way, that last game where you pumped the team up to get that win, it was brilliant. Then just be quiet and let the coach speak. These are my top nine tips. There's much more in our Mental Toughness Academy. Put your name in the email below and we'll give you all sorts of free mental training for coaches, parents, and athletes. I'm Craig Sid. Go to sportsmentaltoughness.com to get your free video training and guided visualization MP3 on how to perform under pressure. I'm Craig Sigal, the Mental Toughness Trainer.